Ah yes, it's time for another album ranking. Today we are ranking Agalog, one of my favourite bands of all time. Absolutely adore them. I discovered Agalog last year and holy shit, I was so damn surprised of how consistent this band is. We have five albums to rank for Agalog. And can I just say, every single friggin' album is fantastic. It is really hard for me to do this ranking. I've listened to this band quite a lot over the last month or two. I can really separate the fantastic albums to the great albums. So let's kick off with the weakest album. And in my opinion, the weakest album is their debut album, which is Pale Folklore. I do really enjoy this album. I love this album. I love the acoustic elements. His vocals are absolutely incredible, harsh and aggressive at times, but he's got that really gritty tone, which I fucking love, along with some really nice guitar melodies. Like she painted across the skyline, part one all the way to part three. It's such an incredible song. They got hallways of Enchanted Ebony, which is an amazing song as well. There is just so much happening within this album and I absolutely love it. And for fuck's sake, this is the weakest in my opinion. This is the weakest album and it's still like a fucking eight or nine out of 10. This album is solid as fuck. It's fantastic. The beautiful acoustic elements along with the just aggressive nature. It's very folky at times. Great way to kick off their career in my opinion. The Melancholy Spirit is such an awesome song. Such an awesome fucking song. And I absolutely adore it. The Pale Folklore is sitting at number five. So next up is just a solid, another solid album by Agalog. But I just feel there are other better albums by this band. We're talking about The Mantle. Yes, The Mantle is sitting here. Why? I don't know why it's sitting here, but I just feel that other albums are better than The Mantle. There's some great songs on this album, like A Celebration with the Death of Mars, In the Shadow of Our Pale Companion, Hello, what a fantastic fucking song that is. Then you got I Am The Wooden Doors. Now he incorporates cleaner vocals on this album, which I do appreciate. Like I do appreciate those cleaner vocals and those chanty like vocals as well. But some of these songs at times do drag a little in my opinion. But then you got the Hawthorne Passage and the Great Cold Death of the Earth, the beautiful acoustic section on that song, and then a Desolation song. So just so many good songs on this album, but I just feel that the mantle does drag a little. There are some great, great moments, don't get me wrong, but I prefer other albums other than the mantle. But the mantle is still a solid fucking piece of art by Agalog. Next up was the last album they released, the Serpent and the Sphere. I really enjoy this album. I think this is a very solid album overall. In my opinion, this is better than The Mantle. It's very slow, it's quite doomy. Birth and the Death of the Pillars of Creation is so damn slow, you'd swear it would be part of like a sort of death doom spectrum. I love how Agalog really slowed down the instrumentals on this album. You got some really nice acoustic sections as well. I really love Celestial Effigy. Some really nice moments along with Planet of the Ages. Awesome songs on this album. It's much more of a melancholic album, in my opinion. It's quite an atmospheric black metal album. There are times some really nice singing, but there's mainly just visual vocals that I really love. On the other hand, the vocals really, really play along with the instrumental lines. And this is why I feel that this album has really connected to me. I absolutely adore this album. There are so many ups and really rare downs on this album. Where The Mantle, on the other hand, there were a few up and down moments. On this album, there are less down moments. Dark Matter of Gods is another fantastic song, but overall, The Serpent and the Sphere is a pretty underrated album by Agalog, which should be a little bit more recognized by the Agalog fans. So next up is Ashes Against the Grain. Oh wow, what can I say? This was once my weakest Agalog album, but I gotta say, it has grown on me so fucking damn much. This is the most probably heaviest Agalog album, in my opinion. Limbs, Falling Snow, you got Fire Above, Ice Below, got Not Unlike the Waves, Our Fortress is Burning, it's Bloodbirds as well, and then you got that seven minute weird noisy scratchy noise which I fucking love now the ambient scratchy fucking really weird I don't know it's called the grain but 
Woo! I mean, that's a great way to end off the album. This is a fantastic fucking album by Agalog, and I absolutely adore it. This is a very solid, this is a very heavy, it's more visceral black metal, in my opinion. There are some folky elements as well, acoustic elements of as always, but come on, the melody throughout Falling Snow is so damn infectious, and I absolutely fucking love it. But yeah, Agalog, Ashes Against the Grain, is sitting at number two. And finally, my favorite Agalog album at the moment is Marrow of the Spirit. This album, this album is a 10 out of 10. It's a fucking masterpiece. If I had to review this album, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. No hesitation. There's just so many amazing songs on this album. There really is a mix of beautiful acoustic along with black metal into the painted gray. Such an amazing song. The Watcher's Monolith, Black Lake near Stang, I mean, Ghost of the Midwinter Fires, Ghost of the Midwinter, oh my god, his vocals on that. And then you got this beautiful, beautiful ending to Drown with an infectious fucking melody that gets stuck in your fucking head. Holy shit, what an incredible fucking album Agalog Marrow of the Bone is. Marrow of the Bone, Marrow of the Spirit is. Absolutely adore it. It's just the melodies that just get stuck in your head. The beautiful guitar work you're getting, the drumming as well. It is like, this is Agalog's song. This is Agalog's song for any other black metal band that want to be like Agalog. They are so damn atmospheric. They're so damn atmospheric. At times there are some black gaze elements. It's atmospheric, it's black gazy. There's just so much happening within this album. And I fucking well love Marrow of the Spirit. All the melodies get stuck in your head where you're Marrow of the Spirit. Where are the Spirit? is the best Agalog album in my opinion. Absolutely adore it. Merida Spirit, in my opinion, is one of my favorite black metal albums of all fucking time now. Absolutely love it. And there are just so many amazing moments on this album. His vocals, his vocals are so damn unique on this as well. Absolutely love it. Yeah, Agalog, Merida Spirit, is, my, is the best Agalog album. The best Agalog album in their discography. So guys, that was the first album ranking of 2021. Comment below if you agree with my opinion. Do you agree or disagree? Keep the sketch in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next one.